They were slaves for 430 years. Slaves, okay? They didn't have any right in their life even to, even to have children. This was the situation that they were under. Anybody here know, like, who, which, who here is familiar with, this, with Moses' story? Raise your hand. You're familiar with it? Have you seen the Ten Commandments movie? The one with, uh, Char is it Charlton Heston? I don't know, Pastor. It's an yeah, old it's movie. I don't watch old movies. Yeah, right? It's him. Charlton Heston, and he goes in the, the, the ocean, opens up, exits. So there's a whole story behind that. There's an entire story behind that. For God to free those people, he had to send some plagues. Anybody remember how many plagues? Ten plagues. Ten plagues. Okay? And this was something that, that God did to be able to free them. He had to send this over those people. And so there was this last, this last plague that God sent to the, to the Egyptians, the people that were enslaving them, which was, anybody know? Death of the firstborn. Death of the firstborn. And so, he was going to send the angel of death. This is what the Bible says. I'm not making this up. He was going to send the angel of death. And he was going to go after the firstborn. But he was going to go after those that were, you know, from the Egyptians. And wherever there wasn't a mark that he said, you know, you guys are going to sacrifice. You're going to put a mark on your door. And if that mark is on there, then the angel is going to pass by. He's going to go over. He's going to pass over that place. Okay? And that's where we get the word. Have you ever heard of Passover? Passover? Yeah. It's a, it's a Jewish holiday. Passover, Easter. You heard of Easter? Easter Bunny? Yes. Okay, so it's, it's, it's that time. It's lost its meaning over the years, but this is what it meant. It meant that with sacrifice, with a sacrifice, we could do and achieve something. Johnson, I just want you to hear a quick example of what sacrifice does because a lot of people don't understand what it's for. It's, it's to achieve the things that have been impossible. Have been impossible. So you wanted something. What was that something that you wanted? Um, I wanted the Holy Spirit. And I found that about the campaign because I would, you know, participate in services. And, you know, I would see other leaders doing it. I would see other youth doing it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try it out. You know, I'm going I'm to test God because, you know, I really want it. And there's no one else who can help me but God. It wasn't right away because I had to do my part too. You know, I did my um, material part. But I also had to do my spiritual part, you know, give up things. You know, give up certain friends, give up a lot of things, you know, my old habits, whatever it was, you know, I would give up too. So, and then uh, maybe like three months later, I got my answer. Okay, so you presented your sacrifice and you got that, that answer. That answer. Awesome. Thank you very much.